What was I thinking? Don't make this mistake, high heels are not the right choice when coming to Rome. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know before coming to Rome in the springtime. I'll tell you the best way to pack, exciting things to do, and stick with me till the end because I'm going to show you one of the best Roman street food places that you probably haven't heard of. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to your unofficial weather forecast. Spring in Rome is just amazing. It starts out with a cool March and it gets warmer as we move towards June. We'll have beautiful sunny days, but we'll also have some showers, especially around April and May. So you really need to make sure you've got everything you need. And today I'm gonna help you out. First and foremost, make sure you pack layered clothing. So you're gonna wanna wear something lighter for the mornings or midday, like a simple t-shirt, maybe a tank top as well, paired with some standard jeans because jeans in spring in Rome are always perfect. And for the evenings, I recommend you bringing a leather jacket, a jeans jacket as well, because there's quite a cool breeze in the evenings to cover your shoulders and not get a cold the day after. The second tip is more like a favor for yourself. Forget about your high heels. And if you're a man, leave your fancy shoes at home. You're gonna be doing loads of walking around the city center of Rome. So something like this is gonna be way more comfortable. You'll thank me later. You know what's also smart to bring in your luggage? A colored scarf, not only to pop out the colors in your outfit, but especially for visiting religious sites to cover your shoulders because they don't let in tank tops, male or female, they don't let you in. So make sure to bring this along with you in your luggage. It's a sunny day, you feel the heat on your skin and the cool breeze running through your hair. You're in Rome, surrounded by history, and you're wondering what you can do to fully enjoy your day. Of course, you can visit the main monuments, but that's not all you can do. There are many beautiful parks actually inside the city that are easily reachable, like Villa Borghese or Villa Pamfili, where you can go and have picnics, enjoy the beautiful weather. Especially in Villa Borghese, there's a small lake where you can rent a boat and enjoy the beautiful nature. But today, I've really want to join a spritzy tour. What is a spritzy tour? I'm gonna tell you now. You're gonna be walking through the city center of Rome with a professional guide who's gonna tell you a lot of fun facts about Rome whilst you're sipping on a spritz, one of Italy's most iconic cocktails. In fact, I'm gonna go on a spritzy tour right now and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. But first I need to get dressed. Andiamo! Oh, don't forget that after the tour, I'm gonna show you one of the best Roman street food places. We are here with our beautiful guide, Ishita. How are you? I'm good, how are you? All good. So tell me, what's the plan for today? Okay, so today we are gonna go on a spritzy tour. So we mix history and iconic Italian drinks together. So I'm gonna take you around and we're gonna see some beautiful monuments and we're gonna drink. Let's go. Let's go. We are at Ponte Angelo. And behind us, of course, is Castel Sant'Angelo. When we think of Castel Sant'Angelo, we think of this beautiful bridge and these adorable statues. Yes, These statues, beautiful were made by Bernini in the 1600s. But before there were these beautiful statues, there was something else. Can you guess what that was? Are the statues maybe that came before these? <laughs> no, they were actually the heads of people that were sentenced to death. That's actually very cool to hear about. And uh, where are we going next? We go down to Via del Coronari, where we get the famous limoncello. Ah, uh, limoncello made out of lemons, right? Exactly. Yes, okay, cool. let's go drink it. This is limoncello. Mm -hmm. It's a very famous Italian digestive. You drink it after lunch. It's made of lemons, as we talked about, and it comes from Amalfi Coast. Beautiful. So Let's enjoy it. it. Cheers. Delicious. We're here in Via dei Coronari, which is a very beautiful Roman vicoletto, small street where you can really breathe the authenticity of Rome. You have a lot of vintage shops, restaurants, bars. I really recommend that in your next trip to Rome, you go and visit this street. So we take a spritz to go and then we go to our next destination. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's go. I know that you take many tourists on your tour to Piazza Navona and Piazza Navona is one of the most known squares in the whole of Rome. I usually go there to enjoy the beautiful weather and to see the street artists that populate the square. 
Now let's take a closer look at the fountain, which is one of the most famous fountains here in Rome by Bernini, which is one of the most influential architects for the Baroque era. So this is the fountain built by Bernini, and that is the church built by Borromini. Bernini and Borromini competed for the same projects and during the same time. So there is a legend that that statue of Rio del Plata does not want to see the church, so it looks away. And that angel right there does not want to see the fountain, so it looks away on the other direction. Well, that's some historic drama for you guys. And if you're actually interested in knowing more facts about Piazza Navona, go check out our TikTok. Our lovely tour finishes here. Thank you so much, Ashita. Thank it's been you. Every, it was a pleasure. Yes, it's been an amazing day. And if you want to book this tour yourself, I'll put the link in the description. I personally think this is one of the funnest activities you can do in Rome. You can enjoy the beautiful spring weather, have some historic insights, and taste the local drinks. And now, it's time to get some food. Imagine this fluffy piece of dough with inside mouth-watering goodness. I took meatballs with classic tomato red sauce, and then we have pork and chicken. They usually have the classic Roman flavors like this one. You can really taste the rosemary flavor. It's delicious. And whatever your taste is, you're gonna love this place. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a lot of videos on our Instagram and TikTok pages, so don't forget to check those out. Let me know in the comments if you want to know anything more about Roma. We'll make a new video. Ciao.